Christmas Chronicles are over. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Day. It's 4-11. I'm going back home. I left my nephew's house. It was nice. I went over there a little after 10 this morning. I didn't eat that much. And it feels, my gut feels like Mount Vesuvius. I had more sugar this year than I had the last four years for holidays because I usually only had it one day a little bit. And I had a little today, a little yesterday, and a little day before. I didn't even eat that much. I ate a small bowl of gumbo with no rice. I ate a few little Tostito chips, the smaller ones, a few Lay's chips. Then I had a piece of pecan pie and a piece of Mississippi mud pie. It wasn't even big. And it feels, my stomach's all over the place. I don't know what the hell's going on. Last night I went to my sister's and ate chili and Fritos. I hadn't had Fritos in a while. That was good. And I ate some candied pecans with the sugar. That derailed my gut, too. They don't know what's going on. Last night, they, my sister keeps her back door open when it's cold outside. And they have an oasis-type patio outside. And they'll leave it open when it's in the winter. And it's fine. But last night, we noticed some mosquitoes in there. Hovering around, and she looks up on the ceiling in the corner, see all over, little ones everywhere. We pull out the vacuum, start vacuuming the ceiling. My cousin was there, he was holding the vacuum while I was holding the extension. He was following me around. He got tired of holding it, he put the vacuum on his head. And we got the shop back out too. Look, if she hadn't noticed that, and there went a couple more hours, there would have been so many in there, Lord. There would have been so many in there. We are laughing. They wouldn't have been visited by the ghost of Christmas past overnight. They would have been visited visited by the ghost of malaria present. That's a fact. They would have been eaten alive overnight. She said that's never happened, ever. Uh-uh. Isn't that a howdy-do? Have a good one.